Hello. Hope you are enjoying your day, afternoon, and or evening, wherever you are on our lovely third rock from the sun, planet Earth. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out for a couple minutes. And thanks to all of the subscribers that have subscribed over the last couple months. Really appreciate it. Was not expecting as much success as I have had in the last few months of 2023 and going into 2024. So, again, thank you. Hope you are enjoying your day, afternoon, and your evening where we are on our lovely third rock from the sun. Planet Earth, thanks for watching. This particular video is about the movie Fablements. I liked it. Two main takeaways right now is the set design, that was pretty nice, and the fashions were pretty good too. And those are the key points that I like the best uh, in the movie, in this movie. I liked that there were Easter eggs throughout the movies. My main liking is the movie posters from, was it the 40s and the 50s? That was pretty fun to notice. And in the beginning of the movie, they have the clip from a movie called The Greatest Greatest Showman. That was pretty fun to notice as well. I really think the takeaways for me beyond the fashion and the set design is the talk of technology in the movie and how it evolved throughout the movie. That was pretty cool. I like the montage of the young kid to teenagers filmmaking. That was pretty fun. The Jimmy Stewart poster for the man who shot Liberty Valley was also a nice touch. I'm a Jimmy Stewart fan. So I was very excited when I saw that movie poster. My, one of my other favorite scenes in the movie is a very cute scene regarding the wife's fingernails and has the husband cut them but between the two of them they play it so well it really does turn out to be a nice scene the underlining tone in the movie is very interesting it's not just about a kid's uh, directing career it's really about his relationship between his parents and his parents one friend because throughout the movie relationships start to change and that was that was pretty interesting i wasn't expecting a b line to be the main line uh but it was nice thought they did a good job with that the person who played the wife really an interesting look like julie andrews from the sound of music I don't know if that was intentional or accidental, but definitely the way they had her hair set and some of the clothing was very indicative of Julie Andrews and Sound of Music. The whole movie, I felt like that lady playing the wife in The Fable Men's was Julie Andrews. It took me a couple of seconds. Every time I saw her, to say, hey, that's not Julie Andrews. I definitely liked, on my list of liking in this movie, the way the kids and then young adults in the movie, it is nice to see that different perspectives because you see the one main character's perspective, but everyone else's perspective is different and brought to an understanding you all have points of views that are different, but also the main character's reality versus theirs. And I thought that was very interestingly done throughout the movie. I liked it. I did find one emotional scene that I took to heart is there's a clip in the movie that shows the son filming the relationship between 
the family friend and the wife. And he edits it all together and shows the mother. And the mother breaks down after watching her son's movie and say, hey, this is what I see. Do you see it too? And I like that scene because I like how it's done and portrayed. Those two people did a really good job. It was emotional for me because I felt the emotion of the mother and I felt the emotion of the then 18 year old, whatever. It The movie takes place over decades. So you have the kid, little boy in the beginning of the movie. And then he goes to college or high school, finishes high school and then gets a job. But I like the, he sees the relationship better than other people have seen the relationship. And it takes other family members a good chunk of time, a little bit more than half the movie to realize, hey, this isn't working out for your parents. Even though this particular kid realizes it really early on. Um, I think it was about 14, give or take. Give or take. I don't, I don't know about the age. Right, going back to the emotional scene, uh, the mother and the son really get to the heart of the issue. And I really like the way it's done because now that he has shown somebody what he says, the, the mother's like, oh, okay. And uh, has a better understanding of what the outside world says of the relationship between the two parents. Despite the decades uh, that take place in the movie, I still have no idea what the movie's about. Yes, it is about the directorial uh, career of this one person. But other than that, I have no idea what it's about. Is it about the family? Is it about this one person? It, it bounces back between A and B storyline that I find really confusing. One of the downfalls that I did not like, there's a portion of the movie that's better before they moved than after. And I, I, I don't know what happened between that and the time they moved. But after they moved, uh, I, I really, I, I don't like it. But it gets better as the movie goes along. So I think really what the movie is trying to do is. Uh, as the movie progresses, the young man tries to find himself as most young people do. And it starts to become a coming of age movie that I was not expecting. Uh, even though they do bring up the separation and eventually a divorce of his parents. From the trailer, I was not expecting a coming of age movie. Which that said, after one particular scene where the kid is ultimately getting ready to graduate high school, it takes a turn for the better going back from the original or going back to the original uh, feeling of the movie that I had before he was in middle school, high school. Beyond the turn of that one scene when the kids getting went for high school or graduating high school, I don't understand why a year later the kid is in living with his father because he has a better relationship with his mother. However, his father works in California and a kid got a job on the movie set. Maybe that's why that happened like that. And that makes sense. They also got away from the kid's uh, young adult, oh, she's hobby of directing for a good chunk of the movie. And I think that's why I did not like that certain middle chunk of the movie. They got back to it. And I think that's why I liked it better that way because 
to me, that was the whole plot of the movie was this kid's directing career from childhood to grown up. And when you get away from that, in my opinion, I got really confused. I don't know what you felt. Let me know in the comments. And I really do think this is a biographical pick of Steven Spielberg. But I'm not 100% sure, so also let me know in the comments what you think of that. Is it a biographical pick of Steven Spielberg or not? I'd say yes, but that's just my opinion. So what's coming up is the movie is a little confusing to me on that angle of biographical or not. And I do like a few things. This is the liking portion of this list. The overarching uh, career, hobby to career, blossoming over time of this kid to adults directing span, I guess you can say. I also am a technologist. I have two degrees in computers, so seeing technology evolve over time is especially awesome in any movie. Uh, but given this is a movie about film and directing, you know, that was pretty cool to see all that old stuff and recognize some of it. That was pretty fun. And the last part, it wraps up well, the movie does. I'm just, just left a little confused and a little bored by the ending. But overall, I like the movie. It's a good movie. And I really do like biopics. I've been really biopicking uh, those types of movies as I like to watch. And I think it's because I can see the evolution of technology, humanity, and everything that goes through those types of movies that it's like, oh, okay. I get to learn something. That's pretty much what I like about biopics, whether it be a person, place, or thing, or all three. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the Fablements. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Dave. This is my life. Hope you are enjoying your day, afternoon, and or evening wherever you are. On our lovely. Huh. I am going to be reviewing a movie. It's the Fablements. And... I thought it was about Steven Spielberg. I still think that. Um, I like it. I like that it goes throughout decades regarding a person's production career, directing career. And the movie itself is really good. Um, There's a couple of different things regarding the Fablemans that I found particularly interesting. One being there are two movies, movie scenes rather, that are in this movie, kind of as an Easter egg, egg to folks who like classic movies. The Greatest Showman is shown in the movie, the clip as well as the man who shot Liberty Valance. I, I like the Easter eggs. Most of them, there's two movies in it. And one is The Greatest Showman, but more or less there were movie posters in the movie which is pretty cool. I thought it was, I thought it, that thought those particular Easter eggs were a fun thing to see and notice. Yeah, I'm gonna start this all over again. I am tripping on my words. I don't know why. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not the other important thing, but the other interesting thing, or in this case, another interesting thing, is the wife, let me try that again, portrayed their, no, not portrayed, uh, uh, well, it is cool, but there's multiple lenses through the kids' perspective of their parents' relationships, and I thought that was pretty nice. Uh, the whole world up. Uh, let's see. I liked. Well, how do I say this? Uh, 